Hi, this is an overview of the Nest thermostat third gen uh, installation. Basically, by the end of this, you should understand what this is. But I'll start from the beginning. So, there's the Nest. What's in the box? These three items. When I first got it, I looked on Amazon and basically it showed these these three items here and it didn't show this fourth item which is the uh, like the Wi-Fi box and it said all you had to do was wire this up to the boiler and it would go uh, in reality it wasn't it's a lot more complicated than that because you've got this you could probably do this if you're good at wiring if you can basically replace a car battery put a, uh, a light switch up in your house uh, anything really basic like that uh, if, you, if you can do stuff like you should be able to do this the most this is really an overview of, to get you to understand what's what's going on because I had to watch about three or four videos before I actually knew what the wiring was doing. I didn't quite get it. It's basically, I decided to do like a slides because all I seemed to do on the videos was pause it where the wiring was, listen to it for a bit, go back to the wiring and pause it. So in this one, by the end of it, you know, we don't to go through all this wiring and all the switches and what they, what you need to do so you have a good understanding and be able to sort of like get your head around any boiler. So this is all you're basically doing. You're wiring up a plug and you're wiring up a switch at the same time. That's all you're basically doing. This is basically a quick overview. So basically your plug will be there. You switch and one switch there and another switch there. So basically you've got a power. This is your switch going out to your boiler and this is your switch coming in. Uh, from your thermostat but we'll go over this in a lot more detail it's just two pictures of it there so you can see the actual uh, numbers and letters a bit more clearly this is the bit where you've got to decide what boiler you've got I worked out mine was this uh, low voltage dry one the reason why I knew it was this because my boiler had if you if you look on your manual you see you'll see two and three of the switch on the this is the what's name this is the what do you call it the heat the heat link so you'll see this heat link got two and two and three so on your boiler if this is going to a thermostat you're pretty certain you're going to be in a low voltage one if it's wired up differently then you'll know you're on that one but i also watched a couple of videos on valent man's valent and how wiring up a thermostat and it showed you that two and three was a switch and this is how do you how would you basically just put a standard thermostat on there's a little bit of explanation on here which you can pause and have a look at about which is a uh, dry and non-dry you know if it's basically a, a 240 or a low voltage one so that explains it a little bit if you need to go into it this is my old setup but basically this is my manual from a uh, valent combi boiler i had a thermostat on the wall not my thermostat but it's a picture of one and i had my wiring inside my valent uh, combi boiler on the manual it basically said three and four is a room thermostat so all that is a switch so three and four there is my room thermostat and all the thermostat does is creates a link so if you've got a link between three and four no thermostat or three or between two two uh two sort of like connections that's more than likely going to be your thermostat because you don't need a thermostat if you're just going to use the boiler settings itself you know the timer on it if you're going to use a, a thermostat, then you'll have more than likely two, maybe three, including the earth connections going from your switch, which is here. It says here, thermostat switch two and three uh, to your boiler. On this wiring, it was an upgrade from an old boiler. And it looks like we've got the power going in here. It's going to live neutral on earth. Then we've got this going out to the old thermostat, which is three and four and earth. I've also got neutral as well for some reason and it's, this goes to another junction box but it connects to a different wire and I think he's added neutral on there for some unknown reason it basically doesn't really do anything doesn't go anywhere so all it was was uh, two, was three and four which was basically the switch and uh, neutral so if we go down to my boiler this is the setup after it's been done basically I've got the power wire go in here into my uh, boiler and then I've got a, what's name uh, another wire coming out let's go into the nest equipment 
and you see I, I put it up there it has to be 20 centimeters away and I had luckily enough I had mine was on a plug socket so I could just unplug it when I played around with the wiring so I obviously didn't get uh, electrocuted so you always obviously want to make sure your boilers off before you do anything otherwise you're not going to be in a good situation I also have a, a multimeter even though I unplugged it and I was pretty certain nothing was happening I still check, check the voltage make sure there's no voltage there because you never know uh, it may not may the wire may not be exactly where you think it is but if you trace it back you should be pretty certain but I was just making sure so this is basically the, the basic guide of what happens basically you've got your power going from your plug socket into your boiler then your boiler power comes out into the the nest like Wi-Fi uh, box and then power comes out from there and the switch goes into your thermostat and then your thermostat basically works out if the, heat, if the heat's above or below its setting and then it sends information back to there either it's off or on then this one will connect the link back to the boiler which will send it off and on so if it's above the heat target heat is above that what actual room heat it is that'll do a closed circuit send it back to these two then this will do a closed circuit send it back to there and like i said before these two are basically it will, all it's doing is simulating that it's basically closing three and four up like i said your one may be a or b or 11 or 12 it's closing that up and that turns it on that's all it does yeah so that's the that's the basic overview and this is where we get a bit more complicated this is this is hopefully by the end of this you'll know what all it all means and you'll be able to work out whatever boiler you've got what you need to do so this is my setup mains power live neutral earth and all that does is goes into live neutral earth on the combi boiler i've seen some combi boilers that have live neutral earth in and live neutral earth out which makes it a lot easier it means you don't have to like double up the wires but on mine it didn't so i had to go in there so all that is in there mains power into the boiler and then i bought off ebay for about a tenner a uh, one millimeter five core heat resistant flex which is this little wire here which is there and from there all i took is live neutral earth three and four which on my boiler three and four are the basically the room thermostat which is basically just a switch this little here yeah so i took three and four and they just go into the nest the nest connections that it goes to so basically i've got three going to two it just happens to be called two on the nest box and four going to three because it just happens that you know i mean that they, they could have called these a b it doesn't really make any difference it just if you look in the manual it will show you that two and three uh they basically the, the switch from the combi boiler so i've got these four wires live neutral earth and then i've got two and three and they like i said that's the wire there that goes into the, into the, the nest heat link yeah this is the nest heat link so they just basically go into that then from from there i wouldn't do anything with that yet i would just get this bit going switch the boiler back on because what this bit does here this bit is basically a test so you can test this to what's name to by pressing that button and it'll turn the boiler on so all you're doing there when you press that test button is putting a link across these two which is basically putting a link across these two which is my uh on and off which is the thermostat switch that's all it is a switch and when when i press that the boiler powered up and off it went and that's all you've got to do dead easy this bit here is your uh, wi-fi connection to your nest or wired connection so you, you you can basically just take t2 t1 and t2 and wind up the t1 and t2 there that means this won't need any power if you don't connect these up you just plug it into a usb cable like you do on a tele you know on a mobile phone it'll turn on and it'll basically scan your network for wi-fi it will say you know watch what's your you'll pick your wi-fi network and you put your password in then that will send this information to, to this as well and they'll both connect to the wi-fi and then you're up and going but i would only just i, I won't even touch that until that button works if you press that button and nothing happens to the combi uh you've obviously got something wrong if you press that button and the combi comes on this bit's a doddle uh you know what i mean two wires or, or nothing at all it just automatically connects dead easy so hopefully that that'll give you a good overview of what's going on uh, and it should give you the tools to work with any combi boiler as long as you've got a manual you can find it online and you know which is your switches and you know which is live neutral and earth 
follow that and it's quite easy so the only thing that will be different all this will be exactly the same whatever your whatever combo you've got apart from this bit here your combi will probably have or it may be the same different numbers or letters uh and like i said you can you can uh you can spot normally which ones they are because they'll, they'll, they'll have two wires going to your old thermostat or they'll have a little wire link going between them because you're not using a thermostat anyway uh just let you know i don't get any money for this i'm not even i don't have enough viewers to have uh to get paid for this i'm just doing this to be helpful because uh I watch some people and help me, so hopefully that'll help you. All right, thank you.